Module 22 Decorative Arts during Tang period. I, Dr. Rita Pratap, former head of the department Drawing and Painting, University of Rajasthan, Jaipur. Large scale manufacture of luxurious decorative arts was found during Tang period. The objects that survived burial are left, notably are numerous splendid ceramics in both earthenware and stoneware, as well as few objects in precious materials, among which are the riton in shape of an abex head and the tongue burial figurines. To the close of the dynasty, one can find pure white porcelain being produced in the north. Some artifacts of ivory, tortoise shells and textiles are found incorporate in objects. Among the burial furniture, evers, jars, plates and cups are good examples. Decorative arts during Tang period. Large scale manufacture of luxurious decorative arts was found during Tang period. On the mainland, unfortunately, only those objects that survived burial as tomb furnishing or for safe keeping are left. Notably numerous splendid ceramics in both earthenware and stoneware as well as few objects in more precious materials, gold, silver, gemstones and even occasionally jade. The modeling of ceramic figures also show that realism was thought desirable and could be achieved. After the Han period, the Tang dynasty marks a second high point in the art of funerary ceramics. Two equally expressive types of ceramic wares were made for use as grave goods. Glazed pieces and unglazed cold painted models representing all kinds of everyday activities and objects. The unglazed models are of dogs, pigs and human figures. Zoomorphic guardians, unidentifiable animals and winged beings. They are covered only with a fill of chalk that may have served as the priming for paint, but they all convey a lifelike effect and in the case of real creatures are true to life. Few examples of the above types are horse belonging to Tang period, a ceramic model given as a grave good, Sankai glaze now in Dresden collection. These valuable pigments like other goods were transported by camel. They and their drivers were familiar sight in markets in Chang'an. Camel belonging to Tang period and in Sensai decoration in the colors green, cropper, bronze, iron and yellow antimony in the Dresden collection. The upper class taste for all things foreign is reflected in many models of western subjects found as grave goods as well as figures of Chinese officials and ladies. There were camels, oriental camel drivers, horses from Fargana and the figures of members of foreign races including musicians, shapes of vessels not hitherto typical of China are also found. Among the ceramic replicas of everyday utensils, there are pieces in forms deriving from the Central and West Asian metalwork. An example is of a phonics headed jug with pictorial panels. This also belongs to Tang period. It has 
at Sunsai Glaze and at present in the Munich Museum. The panels on the body of the vessel bear different decorative motifs. This side shows a horseman delivering the pattern shot, rising in his stirrups as he gallops away and aiming an arrow behind him from his bow. On the other hand, an interesting little beaker found relatively recently suggests the influence of the animal-shaped Zun vessels of the Shang and early Chow period. An example is of a beaker in the form of a small bird. This is also of Sansai glaze belonging to Tang period and at present in the Beijing Archaeological Institute. The back of the phonix is shaped like a beaker. Maid servant with a lion cub on her lap. This is also an artifact of a tongue period made up of ceramic, sensei glaze. Here, the maid servant is modeled on the type of figure showing a foreign wine merchant with wine skin on her lap. Among the magnificent ceramic wares of the tongue period were the first true proslines and the beautiful green jade stoneware and the beautiful green jade stoneware known as celadon. Tongue potters had learned how to combine kaolin clay with the proper proportions of field, spar and flint and then fire the clay at suitable high temperature to produce the hard white transculent ceramic called proslene. Some of the robust shapes and intricate decorative motifs that characterize the ceramic and metal wares produced by tongue artisans show the influence of Near Eastern and Central Asian metalwork. These elegant ceramics along with a wide variety of exquisitely detailed metal boxes, cups, bowls, cast in silver and embellished with gold, amply attest to the cosmopolitanism and sophistication of the Tang dynasty culture. The rioton in the shape of an ibex head, it is belonging to Tang dynasty and at present in the Shaanxi Provincial Museum. This writing in the shape of an ebex head with golden muzzle is the only example of this shape in the semi-precious stone to have been found in China. Though this style as well as in subject it evokes the art of late Sasanian Iran or Sogadara but it was made in Tang China, where all things Central Asian were the height of fashion. Eva with decoration of performing horse. This is silver with repo use glit decoration. Shaanxi, China, Tang Dynasty, probably before 756 CE. This vessel, like a riton, was a part of a hoard of precious objects found where a Tang palace had once stood in Hijia Kun, a suburb of Chang'an. This silver ewer with a gilt repose depicts a performing horse. The subject illustrates an actual entertainment at the Tang court of Emperor Husan Tsung. Here, the horse is shown holding between his teeth a footed wine cup. Texts from Tang period record that horse from emperor's vast stables who were trained to dance while holding and occasionally drinking from cups of wine. And examples of the Tang burial figurines, tomb figurine harpist 
it is also made up of earthenware belongs to tang dynasty and at present in the cleveland museum of art they are well known in the west these amazingly realistic and animated figures were seen at funerals and then buried elaborate hissing vases are extremely rare the most robust vase is extraordinary the ever hissing proslin belonging to tang dynasty and at present in the british museum london has birds head lip and floral arbuskies on body tomb figurine camel bearing troop of central asian musicians this is a three colored glazed earthenware and found from the tomb of chianu tinghuai nahue kun hishan shangxi china and belonging to tang dynasty dated first half of the 8th century tomb figurine of a mounted hunter from the tomb of princess yongtai shangxi province tang dynasty and a painted earthenware at present in the national museum beijing chinese artists were fascinated by the thick beards curly hair and unfamiliar facial features of the foreign traders who flocked the tang capital the many ceramic sculpture of foreigners with their horses and camels made at this time demonstrate this artist's keen power of observation 